So first off, I gotta thank everybody who came out to the collective, our last collective meeting. It was a great meeting. It was a fantastic meeting. We had some of our best speakers ever. We had Dr. Sandy Shugert from Valencia mm -hmm. who just killed it. Killed I mean, it. He was amazing. Uh, talked about um, combining your vocation and avocation. Yeah, I think that? I needed a dictionary to look I, up what I mean, those I, words meant. <laughs> I had Webster's Dictionary flying the entire time, but it was amazing and, and very emotionally uh, uplifting and compelling. He also it, said one thing I really liked. He said, you got to be authentic, no matter what. Just be yourself. I, I like that a lot. And, and again, it was, to me, whether it was Sandy Sugar yesterday or Marcia Hope Goodwin mm -hmm. or Dick Batchelor, thank you to all the speakers. But all of them came in with this common theme that leadership is so much more uh, than just what you do. Yeah. Leadership is who you are. It's about, it's also about listening. It's mm -hmm. about working with your staff. I mean, it's not just going in and, and sort of being a jerk. You know, there's more to it than that. Well, and sometimes you do got to be a jerk. Sometimes you do. But again, these leaders are, are so fantastic and mm -hmm. the collective, uh, we were so fortunate to have them. So thank you again to those speakers, Sandy Shugart, Marcia Goodwin, and Dick Batchelor. You guys were great. Uh, and, and John, it just keeps on going. Next yeah. month, we have a, a, an unknown upstart politician yeah. by the name of uh, Mayor Buddy Dyer. You Who know, was he, recently named one of the fifth, no, I don't know if it was one of them. He might've been the most powerful person He's in Orlando. the most powerful person in Orlando for like the 15th year running. I guess when you're uh, the mayor, you sort of get that, right? Well, you know, at times the mayor of Orlando has uh, been a very powerful position. Other times it hasn't been as mm -hmm. powerful. But Mayor Buddy Dyer, one of the most transcendent politicians in our community's history, He's coming in to speak at the collective. Who else do we have next month? Uh, maybe Mark Brewer. Maybe we're, Mark Brewer. We're okay. working on some things we, with we Mark. We're going to work on some scheduling. Uh, Dave, Dr. David Swanson's in the hopper for the next couple months. Uh -huh. uh, former former governor and former U.S. Senator Bob Graham is going to be here. So just some great, uh, great people coming. And so, again, we're so fortunate to have these great speakers. If you know someone out there who should apply to the collective, tell them about it. We can uh, send them that application link. There's no cost. The collective is about us investing in the leaders of tomorrow, mm -hmm. the people that are going to shape uh, the face of causes of all different sorts. So it, it's it's been amazing, John. It's kind of been a wild ride. It has been. And, and I think when we started this, we really had no idea where it would go. I mean, we had an idea where, where we wanted it to go, but we didn't think it would actually get there this quickly. And it really has. I mean, we started this back in March. It's July, June, July. And we are already almost at 300 members. Absolutely, and, and we've gotten some great feedback that's helped us shape the future uh, of the collective and, and more the directions we're gonna go. A couple of things we talked about yesterday, maybe we can recap again. One, uh, Collective Launch, which mm -hmm. is a new program we're gonna be offering that we saw in action through the lens of Nicole Dupre mm -hmm. and her new Opera del Sol. Opera from, del Sol. Are you going to sing for that? Well, I'm a pretty good singer. I don't Are know you? If you know. I mean, I'm not. I, no, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, but I will say Opera del Sol and Nicole Dupre's launch of that this week, uh, she shared with the collective, Nicole's in the collective, mm -hmm. that we had been helping her behind the scenes um, put together her media, put together a, a lot of her strategy, connect with influential leaders in the community. That's part of what the collective's all about. Yeah. And we've kind of moved that now to a place where we're doing collective launch, which is where we're gonna find certain projects, certain leaders, certain programs inside of the collective where we help undergird them as they put something out to the public. Mm -hmm. uh, that might be fundraising strategy, it might be um, media, it could uh, just be someone to help them put a business plan together. Yeah. We wanna be able to help certain collective members uh, as resources allow us to. And I think Nicole was a great example of how we can be a little bit of assistance. And there's just a lot of people in the collective that have sort of a little bit of expertise and that's kind of where we work together. I mean, obviously I worked in the media for a long time, so I can help with that. And Andre, you worked in nonprofits for a long time, so you know that world. So you and I can kind of offer that assistance, but there's also people within the collective that say, hey, I can help out with this. I can help out with that. And so all these things are just working to our benefit in the collective. Absolutely. So you're, we're going to take on more projects inside mm -hmm. of Collective Launch uh, over the next few months. You'll hear more about that. We also announced yesterday something that people will hear more about soon, which is something we're calling tentatively Fulcrum. Fulcrum. Well, Fulcrum is going to be uh, kind of an advanced leadership program mm -hmm. inside of the collective for leaders who have been doing nonprofit work more than five years, raised um, more than a million dollars, um, or we're gonna come up with some criteria, yeah. 
and, and really trying to get those leaders into a leadership environment where we can pour specific um, information or speakers into them and then help them also shape the direction of this group. We, we can't do it by ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, we need input from great leaders. And so Fulcrum, you'll hear more about that. You'll be able to apply for that if you're interested in that in the next couple of weeks. And I think the point of that is, and we've talked about this a little bit, is that not everybody's on the, they might be on the same path, but maybe not on the same part of their path. Everybody wants to do great things, but you might be 20 years ahead of somebody who just started this. Yep, we want the collective, whether you, if you've just started mm -hmm. in, the, in this social change work, we're gonna have programs, we're gonna have speakers, we're gonna have content for you, we're gonna have people that come around you and help you. But if you're someone who's done this 20 years, 30 years, uh, if, you've, if you've been to places where uh, you know, what you need is a little more advanced, we wanna have uh, something for those folks as well. So the collective is about a lot of people on the same path, but maybe in different parts of that journey. Yeah. So it's, it's very exciting. I, I'm, um, I, I'm very pleased with where it's going. Next couple weeks, we've got uh, some cool things. Uh, Breaking news, actually, we have right here. I just got off the phone with Dick Batchelor. So he spoke last night at our last meeting of the collective. As we said, he did fantastic. But he's actually going to come back okay. for our breakfast breakout session, which is going to be on July 12th. Yep, uh, 8, 8 a.m., yep. July 12th. We'll put out information probably tomorrow where you can sign up for that. Just like last time, it's the first 18 people yeah. that sign up and it's only $15 at breakfast. We have you pay for your breakfast. Yeah, we can't afford your breakfast. We can't afford to pay for your <laughs> breakfast, but you pay for your breakfast and you get uh, you know, a full session with Dick Batchelor. He's yeah. gonna come in and talk more about how do you talk to elect officials? How do you work with lobbyists? How do you get the public sector uh, to move towards the direction you want it to when it comes to a cause you're passionate about? So excited about the collective breakout session, July 12th. We'll get all the information yeah. out about that. We also have a 4th of July party at Dovecote, July 4th, uh, benefiting Feeding Children Everywhere. Dave mm -hmm. Green, another awesome collective member. Uh, we're putting together a little party that will benefit him. Come on down, family friendly, fun. It's gonna be fantastic. Um, and what am I forgetting? Your birthday. My birthday. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna be 31 years old. 31. Oh. What are you celebrating your 10th anniversary or your 31st It's gonna birthday? be the 10th anniversary of my 30, uh, uh, 31 year old um, self, but no, I think we're going out. July 6th. July 6th. I just got off the phone with them. We're going to do this at Ace Cafe, the new sort of motorcycle biker bar. It's not a biker bar, but it is a motorcycle bar in downtown Orlando. If you haven't been yet, come join us July 6th, probably around 5.30 to 8.30 we'll do this. I'll have all the information on the website John, or the Facebook page. John, there's no one I'd rather spend my birthday with. <laughs> The, the biggest day of my year than with you. Really? I want you to know, yes. You, you live a lonely life. I live then. a terribly lonely, <laughs> insecure, hidden life. So. But it, it should be a fun event. If you've never been, it, like I said, this place is brand new. It's super cool inside. They got a few bars in there. They got a stage in there. There's music. It's just a cool place. Yep. So, so much going on. Make sure to uh, stay in touch if you're a collective member uh, on our collective Facebook page. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of great information on there. There's so many meetings, so many activities <laughs> that we're moving forward. You know, we had a, a meeting with uh, Tomas Lars mm -hmm. today. Uh, he is an amazing uh, advocate uh, to fight human trafficking. I, I was, I was, it was fantastic to hear him talk about the fact that he's been doing this work 20 something yeah, years. Yeah. And he's like, Andre, John, this collective really has the potential to be something that impacts the work that I'm doing. Yeah. And, and that's very reassuring to us, uh, to me, um, because we knew there was a need. We mm -hmm. knew people were hungry for this, but to see the amount of people that really feel like it's a benefit to them, it really makes it all worthwhile. And I just think it's only gonna get better. I mean, we've done these monthly meetings, which are great and it brings people together, but there's just more we can do every week, every month that, that can sort of expand on what we've already built. Yep. That's what I'm excited about. I'm excited too, and we're gonna, we're gonna figure out ways to have more to offer to the collective members. Uh, we want to figure out over time how to have more resources to launch more organizations and more programs inside of collective members' mm -hmm. uh, uh, worlds. And uh, if we can raise resources, I think that'll give us the opportunity to help more folks and, and invest more tangible uh, things into the collective members. I can remember doing this work, John, and just not having a lot of places to go mm -hmm. or people to talk to when I was trying to, to get some work done to help people in need. We want the collective to be that answer to someone's uh, you know hopes, wishes, or prayers whenever they might need it. Yeah, so if you're not a member yet, apply. I'll put the application, the link to the application in the comments below. 
apply. I'll get it. Andre will get it. We'll take a look and, and we want you to come to the next meeting. Absolutely. So if you need something, make sure to message John. He's going to whatever it might be. If you're locked out of your house, <laughs> I'll if, come help if you if out. your rent payments due, you know, you, you, all you, of it. Yeah. Anything you need. If you're trying to make a political point, whether it's, you know, defending Trump mm. or, or, you know, trying whatever your needs are, John <laughs> has you covered. I just want you to know that. All right. No. So again, thank you so much. We will see you July, July 4th. 26th. Oh, we got too many dates we here. Got July 4th, uh, July it? 6th, July 6th, July 12th, July 26th. We got all kinds of events. We'll see you a lot. And, um, <laughs> Anything you need, let us know. We love you. Thank you so much for being a part of The Collective. See you soon.